Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jaya, but you can call me Holly J. And I'm just back with a quick tutorial. If you're like me, who goes to like their local Goodwill or thrift store and likes to DIY, and you never really just find the exact jean that you want or wash, I have a quick little trick on how you can lighten your jeans to be at that perfect wash and you don't have to settle anymore. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So first things first, you'll need to have a bathtub or some form of like plastic bin or bucket. I would suggest a bathtub just because jeans are pretty long if you're going to be doing jeans for this um, DIY. And any type of bleach will work. There's no specifics to the bleach. Just make sure you have at least a gallon so that you can have ample amount of bleach for your project. So I just want to stop right here because in these clips, this was my first attempt at getting the right water to bleach ratio. So in these clips, you can kind of see that the water is pretty high up. Um, I have it like almost halfway full and I did a whole hour, which is two flips of my jeans in the bleach and it was not lightning. I could see that it was not lightning. So I took it out and I reset and you can kind of see in these next clips that my water to bleach ratio is much different. There's much less water and much more bleach. Okay, so make sure the pockets are in and the zipper is zipped. Okay, so two things to know at this point. You can see that my water to bleach ratio is drastically different than when I first started. I told you I did this twice because I noticed that my jeans were not lightning. So in this clip, you can see that my water is way lower. Um, and the saturation color of the bleach and water is way more pigmented. Um, it should have a yellow tint to it. That means you've mixed your bleach into your water really well. But what I just really want to note is that your water just needs to be high enough for the jeans to lay under it. You do not need your jeans floating in water. It's not necessary and it won't work. So minimal water, plenty of bleach. That's why I'm not giving you an accurate amount of bleach to use um, because, hey, the timing of this makes the difference. Um, so I just use minimal water and use half or more than half of a gallon or liter of bleach. Okay, so I'm coming back and each time I flip the jeans, I let them sit in this solution for 30 minutes and I flip my jeans four times. So this should take you about two hours. Um, you can see just from this clip how much the jeans are lightening and how fast. That's how I know that my solution was the right amount now. And look how yellow the water is. Like, yes, that's what you want. That's what you're looking for. That's the consistency. So I'm just showing you here, the jeans are lightening. Um, be careful when you pour the bleach in or where you like saturate the jeans or if you press down on them because you can kind of see I have like a really light splotch. I'm not that picky, but if you are and you want it to be seamless, be mindful of how hard you press down when you're um, flipping your jeans and saturating them in the water. But I do recommend, you know, pushing your hands down, making sure it's getting soaked every time you flip your jeans over. All right, so you've got your two hours out the way. You've flipped your jeans four times. And you can drastically see that the color of the jeans has lightened from a darker wash to a lighter wash. Um, it's time to wring them out and place them in a plastic bag for converting from tub to washer and dryer. 
So yes, I wash the jeans first, because obviously bleach, we want to get that off. We don't want that touching our skin and stuff. Wash your jeans as you would regularly by themselves. Um, I did a speed wash because they're not dirty. I just need them to, you know, get all that film of bleach off of them. And yeah. All right, and ooh, look at that, y'all. Just after the wash, you can see how bomb I done got my color to change. Like, that's just so cool. It's like science. So now I'm just putting it in the dryer. Same idea. I'm going to do a speed dry. It's one thing. I need it dry now. You know the drill. If you know how to wash clothes, and you know what's going on, okay? Oh, well, I guess I didn't do a speed dry. That says 53 minutes. So I guess I wanted them to be dry, dry, dry because I was ready to work on my project, which the project that these jeans were used for is also on my YouTube channel. I'll put the card right here because I did my own Mew Mew denim jeans. Yes, ma'am. Little plug. Okay, back to it. Okay, so look at my jeans. They look so much better after you dry them because you kind of saw like the splotchiness after I washed them. But now that they're dry, look at them. This is two hours with lots of bleach, less water. This is how bright I got my jeans. And this was the brightness I was going for. So if you want less bright, you know, less bleach. Keep that in mind. But I wanted to change the whole entire wash of those jeans. And y'all just remember what it looked like before. And now look at it like... You would have never even known. Like, these are a whole new pair of jeans. Like, period. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for plenty. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But I think it's pretty straightforward. The lighter the color, the more the bleach. You get it? You got it? You good. Thank you. Bye.